time for another resume audit. So again, we've got one page PDF, fantastic. Name, address, phone number, great. Objective, get rid of it. No need for any of this. But, um, we also don't believe it because they all sound the same. Highly motivated, detail oriented, flight safety efficient. Everyone says the same thing, so get rid of this part. Uh, certificates and ratings, uh, good. And then flight experience, again, I would organize it with certificates and ratings on a left column, flight experience in the middle, and airplanes and or aircraft flown on the right, because I have no idea what aircraft this person has flown. Zero, and I want to know that. Uh, this is a little confusing with the total up top here. I would put it underneath. Uh, but all this stuff is, and actually, you know, you put total time, PIC, always at the top. Sorry. So total time here, PIC here, and then all that. But again, better to have three separate columns. Um, work experience, switch this. So always put work experience under flight experience. And then education. Because we always assume that you've been to high school and then you've been to flight school. So uh, kind of no... Nothing special there, though. This is uh, this is all looking very good. Work experience, uh, glass. That's really good. And concrete finisher. This person knows how to work. This is great. So um, to review, to get rid of the objective, put their certificates and ratings, flight experience, airplanes, and three columns side by side. Work experience next, then education. And if you've got space put personal interests if they're worthy you know don't put hanging out with friends or watching Netflix those, those don't count and then uh, you can put prefer uh, references at the bottom if you've got them all right uh, great work though good start